Hi guys, in this video we are going to be looking at how we can convert our low resolution image to a high resolution image. This is Twisted Creative by Larry Bermanel is my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's jump into it. This is the image we are going to be using and um, before we start anything, we have to check the resolution of the image. It's a very low quality image. As you can see, we have 160 kilobytes here. Then this is also a copy and also 160 KB. So what we're going to be doing here is for us, let's preview the image and see if you zoom in, we'll notice that it's a very low quality image. Then we are going to be opening this in our Photoshop and here we go. So we have the first image here and this is the second image. Okay, let me say, let me pull this image now from this canvas to this other one. Then if you watch them closely side by side, you know they are of the same size, the same width, the same height and the same resolution. Okay, we have to remove this and this is the first one and this is second we're going to be starting with this second one and if you are zoomed in here as you can see you are seeing the pixel which the images are made up of they are so visible because of the low resolution now we are going to be increasing this photo into a higher resolution which is going to make it look better than this so before you start you go to edit preference then you will see technology previews in this dialog box you have to make sure this enable preserve detail 2.0 must be checked like this then you hit ok after enabling the preserve detail then the next thing we're going to do here is for us to go to image then image size then we'll notice this dialog box you also having this image inside you can you can just navigate to the area you want. You can increase the level of your zoom if you want. We have to make sure we must be on pixel. You don't have to complicate issue because if you start trying to use inches or centimeter, you're going to confuse yourself. So you have to be on pixel. Then here you see the width as 375 and the height as 525. Now it's obvious that this height is the highest number which we are going to be looking at we have to make sure the highest number of length is increased to let's say between 3000 and 4000 is a good place to stay by increasing the resolution is going to automatically change the height and the width of this image then what we're going to do is for us to just go to the resolution and change it to like let's say 200 first 200 we have 200 and the height has become 1400 the height has become 1400 which is still below the resolution we are looking for if we increase it to 400 we now have 2800 here so in order for us to take it up to like 3000 or close to 4000 or a little bit more than 4000 can just say okay let's just try 600 we now have the height at 4200 pixel. I think it's a good place to stay. The resample, you must make sure you go to this drop down and choose preserve details 2.0. Then, like as you can see, we have a slider that is added to it. Then, if I click and hold, you will see the before. And if I let go, you'll see the after. See the before and see the after. See the before see the after so what we are looking at now if you take a look at it at the before notice we have this bold bold pixels around the image that makes up the image but now the pixels has been broken down into smaller units which is not going to be that noticeable that is the essence of this tutorial for you to soften this image like if it reduce noise a slider this reduced noise slider you can take it all the way up you notice that the image is becoming too smooth and too artificial 
Then what you do is that at least let's say between 20 and 30 should be okay. It's also too smooth to my liking, but I don't know about it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to okay it here because we have our resolution now at 600 and we can see we can notice that the height has increased to 4200 which is a good place to stay then we hit ok the image is just over zoomed in because of the drastic change in resolution increase so let's zoom out and see the image now this is the image now it's looking better than before so we can just zoom in and see how it's looking because of the softening of this image we've lost a lot of detail now we have to replace the details that we've lost in the process now i'm going to zoom in let's just zoom in and see if we can add some details to this image we are not going to be adding general sharpness i have this tutorial up here which you can learn how to sharpen image we are going to be sharpening in this image by going to filter then we have to convert to a smart filter then it's going to show you enable smart filter do this did that so we have to hit ok then we have it as a, as a smart object now then what we're going to do is for us to go to our filter go to order then to high pass then i know you've been wondering how we can get this image back it's okay we are going to do that I'll have it as 3.0. I think it's a good place to stay, but it's a kind of something you can easily adjust. You can adjust it with the opacity, with the fill, and all that. So let's just hit OK first. Then you go to this slider icon, double click it, you will see the blending option of the high pass. Then you can just click from normal change from normal to linear lights then hit okay then if you zoom in you will notice that we have a lot of details on the image now but we don't just want we don't want this detail for the entire skin like i want the the face to be soft and on the um, part of the eyes the eyelash and all that i don't want them to be that blur so i have to take them gradually that's why we choose to sharpen this way you will see this smart filter layer marks you just select it and use your control i to invert it we have to take our brush to and make sure our foreground is white and our background is black and we'll start painting have to increase your brush size to the particular image size and you have to start clicking you can increase your opacity if you wish you don't want it to come at once then you can increase the sharpness of selectively increase the sharpness of the area you want to sharpen so this is the lip these are the teeth you know have to increase the sharpness then the hair also can be increased it's just the skin we don't want the skin to be sharpened that much because we need a soft skin, softer skin. So the skin should be okay like that. Then the clothing or the textile, depending on your te terminology, let's just take it to 100% and see what we can get. Then we can notice that all these things are sharpened and the photo is more interesting. Then look at it. Isn't it amazing? Then this is a, a very quick way we can actually increase the size, the resolution of image. So let's just change this into layer for now. For the sake of tutorial sake, let's just change it, convert to layer. Then it's going to ask you some so we have it like this as a layer then how can we differentiate between the former image and let's open this other page and see we have this the same image then going to this got the same image here so this is the before and this is after 
This is before and this is after. This is before. This is after. Isn't it amazing? So let's just go to, let's bring in this image. Let's take our move to and move this image from this page to this page. <laughs> Can you see the difference? This image has been the same size before, but now look at, I just brought this one in as the original small image at 160 kilobytes. Then when I have this bolder image, take a look at the size difference. Look at the size difference. It's so amazing. And the image is looking well. So let's see. Can we just save this and check between? Let's remove this and save this as. Let's go to the former folder, change it to JPEG, and let's just choose one of these and make it, give it a name. Let's say test. So we have these three images. We have these three images now. Now take a look at it. If we navigate around this one, notice is that normal 160 kilobytes here, kilobyte that we formerly have. And the next one is a copy of that 160 kilobytes here. And the last increased resolution image is going to be, let's see what it's going to read. 3.71 megabytes. Isn't that amazing? It's a very big difference from 160 kilobytes to 3.71 MB. That is, let's say 3,700 kilobytes. So as you can see, it's a very, it's a very simple way you can upscale your images in Adobe Photoshop and you can use it on any canvas that you want. That's it for today's video. It's a very easy way you can increase the resolution of your images in Adobe Photoshop. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section where it has helped you and where we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative Pro will keep on creating. Please stay creative. Continue creating. Bye for now. See you in the next video.